your G E2 Bad Format Studio and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to deal with your recording delay better known as latency latency so latency is basically the time it takes for sound to travel from the sound source to the input of your computer or your interface or compressor uh, it does take some time but it's usually measured in like milliseconds so you're not able to hear it but if it's really really off then it's going to throw your whole project out of whack and that's not what you want it's just going to leave your shit sounding so messed up so it's better to avoid it so stay tuned and play close attention if you fail to compensate for your latency then you're going to fall into about around four major problems uh, number one is going to be recording out of time it's not going to sound good and even if it's a little out, out of time to the point where you can't even detect it other people will that know what they're listening to so voice monitoring that's probably the worst one uh, if you have a singer in the booth and uh, she's singing or you have a rapper um, some of them like to hear what's going through but at the same time if it's got latency on it it's so off-putting they'll probably want to leave and go somewhere else so it's more work for the engineer as well way more work for the engineer if all your recordings are just out of sync with the project it's, it's gonna hate you deal with these problems I guarantee you will have better sound and music 100% guaranteed so let's move into the fixes let's see how we fix these problems so if your setups like just with a mic and the interface then to deal with your latency all you have to do is go to preferences audio and usually you'll have it on 1024 and that's usually for like mixing mastering so while you're recording have it as low as possible 128 is fine so have it there press apply and if you're just using a mic and your interface then you're good to go congratulations you're back on track <laughs> But if you're using a hard, if you're using a mic with a hardware, like a compressor, then stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to fix the latency with that right now. Right, so if you're using a hardware with your microphone, if your sound flow goes microphone, compressor, interface, then computer, this is how you deal with your latency. So you open an audio track. Then you'll go down to audio effects, utility, then the I slash O plugin. It stands for input output. And then you click mono because we're only dealing with the mono source right now. Um, make sure that your interface's output is connected to the input on your hard drive just momentarily. And make sure you take it out after. So. I've got my uh, my output, my the um, input of my compressor connected to the output of my interface on channel one, and uh, my compressor is connected to the interface from the output of the compressor to the input of the interface around the back, and it comes into the computer as channel five. So if I give this a ping now, I should get my latency offset which I'm not uh, make sure you turn off any gates or anything that you've got on and make sure the volume on the input is up there we go I have my offset value so remember this value plus 61 what I want to do now Go back to preferences, audio, and I want to go to recording delay, and I want to go to minus 61. And that is how you compensate for your latency. So that was it. Hope I could help you with a few problems you was facing. I know I was facing this uh, problem for ages, but 
Once you find the solution, you grow, don't you? If it did help, follow the procedure. Like, subscribe, don't be a net ghost. It's not healthy for no one. Keep creating and stay healthy.